Jim Miller fighting at UFC 300 this weekend. So with it now being Fight Leak, let's start the debate that's going to be happening all week of should Jim Miller be in the Hall of Fame? Yes or no. What's up, everybody? John Eric Poli here with my MMA news. And I thought I'd join in on the debate that I'm sure will be taking place throughout the course of the week. Is Jim Miller a UFC Hall of Famer when he retires one day? Yes or no? In my personal opinion, the answer to that question is yes, absolutely. Now, look, in today's video, we're going to go through the pros and the cons of things. I have a little quick disclaimer. I have interviewed Jim Miller a few times. He's freaking awesome. He's really cool. He's generous with his time. None of that factored into why my answer is yes. So let's get started with the pros and cons. We'll start with the pros as to why he should be in the UFC Hall of Fame one day. He's right now the UFC leader in total fights with 43, leader in total wins with 26. He's second in total finishes with 18, second in total submissions with 12. He's first in submission attempts in UFC history. He's also been in the UFC for 16 years, made his debut back in 2008. That's very difficult to do, spending 16 years within the company. He also holds wins over Charles Oliveira, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. He's fought on three historical events, UFC 100, 200, and now UFC 300. Now let's go to the cons. Now these, of course, are the reasons why he shouldn't be in the UFC Hall of Fame. And there's only a handful of them, but they do hold a lot of weight. We'll get started with the fact that he's never won a title or even fought for a title. That's something that's really big. He's also only been in three main events in the course of his 16-year career. And he also has a lot of big losses out there. He has losses to the likes of Frankie Edgar, Benson Henderson, Nate Diaz, Donald Cowboy Cerrone, Dustin Poirier, and Anthony Showtime Pettis. And really where things kind of really get hard for Jim Miller is the fact that he made his debut after November 17th of 2000. Any fighter that debuts after that has to go into the modern wing. A lot of competition in that modern wing for Jim Miller. But for me, listen, I have no problem with the longevity argument. Some people will say longevity shouldn't get you in. I think it does. He's been in the company for 16 years. And in that 16 years, he's won a lot of fights. He's fought in a lot of fights. He's done a lot of great things within those 16 years. You're not first in total fights and total wins by being a jobber and going out there and losing. He's still in 2024, year 16 of his UFC career, winning fight. He just won earlier this year. So for me, I think the fact that really this record might stand for a real long time when you think about it, because I don't see many people fighting in the UFC for 16 years. It's going to be very tough to break a lot of those records. So for me, as long as he's going to be holding those records for time and time to come, which I think he's going to do, the answer is yes.